You've written a book, uh, Silver Screen Fiend, and this is, uh, this is a labor of love for you because I've known this for a while. You are addicted. You have a movie addiction. You yeah. see almost every movie? Well, for, especially during that four-year period, I saw, at one point, I saw 262 films just in the theater. That's not counting what I watched on TV and DVD. 262 movies that you it, bought a ticket for and went and saw. Bought a theater. ticket for and went mainly to a place called the New Beverly where they would show a double feature every night. Uh, I saw, in four years, I saw more than 725 films. Yeah, it was sad. It was almost like, like heroin, I would at least have been interactive with people to go buy it. Like this was just me sitting in the dark and absorbing. I just got stuck in the, I, if I absorb enough movies, I'll become a director. Like in my head, that's what I thought. Really? So oh, it was crazy. This idea was that if you saw enough movies, I mean, it makes sense. If you saw enough, yeah. you would like pick up on the skill of filmmaking and then you could make your own movie. In my head, I was like, well, Scor Scorsese saw every movie ever made and Quentin Tarantino watches everything. But then I didn't make the next sequel. And then when they're done watching movies, they go make them. I <laughs> got finished watching five movies a day and the next day I wake up and go, I should see five more. Right. So, you know, I have all this weird movie knowledge. Did you see uh, mostly movies that you liked, or were there movies, did you see some questionable, you must have seen, I mean, if you've yeah. seen that many movies, you're seeing some dodgy movies. I saw one movie, oh my gosh, what was it? Hang on. Was it Sharktopus versus Terror? No, it, I wish. <laughs> Although, had, you mean that? <laughs> I did, okay. As, people make fun of like Sharknado and Sharktopus and stuff like yeah. that. There, there's a movie called Deep Blue Sea. And the whole idea is they're trying to cure Alzheimer's. And in the process of, of finding the cure, they have to work on Mako sharks. And it makes the shark super intelligent. So, so what the whole premise of the movie is, to stop grandma pooping in her pants when she gets to be 80, we're going to fill the sea with near indestructible genius level killing machines. <laughs> like that's the whole trade off of that movie. Yes. Which makes it so brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever seen, I brought this up the other day and, and Andy's seen it too. And it, you guys are too young to have seen this, but there was a movie that was only on television, but I think one of the greatest things ever called Killdozer. You ever seen oh, Killdozer? God. Yeah. Killdozer. <laughs> there's a bull, there's a bunch, there's some guys on a deserted, on a, like an island doing construction. Yeah, exactly. And they have a bulldozer. And this is the plot. A, a meteor hits the island, and for some reason that they never explain, it makes the bulldozer come to life and want to destroy all humans. <laughs> yeah. But it's a bulldozer. Its top speed is eight miles an hour. <laughs> but they show guys like, ah, ah, and they start to run and they fall and they lay there for the yeah. 10 minutes it takes for the bulldozer to get to them. And my favorite part is one guy's running away and the bulldozers, all he has to do is climb a tree yeah. or just go get in the woods. That's yeah. all he has to do. Or get in the driver's seat of the bulldozer. Or get in the driver's seat of the bulldozer. <laughs> what this guy does is he runs, I'll never forget this, he runs and he gets in like an aluminum tube in front of the bulldozer and hides in it and it crushes the aluminum tube. You gotta see Killdozer. I mean, I'm, that's what I'm here to do. I'm just having second thoughts about my movie where this meteor comes down and hits a Zamboni. <laughs> uh, I'm probably gonna have to rewrite that yeah. one. Yeah, all you have to do is step in the desert. Well, no, I know it's set in Jamaica. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> oh my God. All right. Why did you bring that up? I don't know. Uh, we should work together. Yeah, uh, exactly.